Alrighty, folks, we have a very special strat for you today. But before I open it, why don't we get someone else to open it first? Okay, what do we have today? Whatever it is, I'm dressed according to the color of it. <laughs> well, that's tweet. Okay. I have to check if there is anything that I'm missing because <laughs> I remember <laughs> what I did last time. Hey, Steph. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. <laughs> oh, this is a really nice color. It's called Candy Red. Candy Apple? How, candy do, you know, apple. how do you know about that? <laughs> <laughs> I yes. think I have watched some of your videos. <laughs> Okay, and I know this guitar has a history. Oh my god, they have to go and watch uh, the video that you have on your YouTube channel which actually talks about the history of this guitar. But let's focus on the guitar right now. Um, yeah, really nice color. I think it just reminds me of uh, a very hip-hop era. Hip-hop era? Is it the hip-hop era right now? <laughs> <laughs> Like it, it reminds me of a, like a song that you would play that's really funky and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I think the, the guitar just speaks for itself. Love the color, love the golden on it. Oh, what's this? That's just the the tremolo springs. Oh okay. Is it supposed to be covered? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got something right. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, overall impressions, really beautiful looking guitar, actually something that will definitely catch your attention. Um, actually heavy though, I have to say. Why is it so heavy? Maybe Even that's why it's fallen down it. twice. <laughs> In fact, it had fallen down before I bought it. <laughs> yeah, because usually like most of the smaller guitars are tend to be lighter, yeah. especially the ones that I've seen in yeah. the collection. But yeah. this one seems to be a little bit heavier. So I have to be really, really careful because we don't want it to fall the third time. <laughs> so I'm going to hold it. <laughs> uh, why is there a line in the center? So this I haven't it's seen It's called before. a skunk stripe. So it's just, it's a fender thing. Fender put that on their maple necks. Uh, oh yeah, this is not a PRS. No, it's not. About that. <laughs> it's a fender. Not every guitar I own is a PRS. Uh, I have been opening a lot of PRS lately, so this has been different. So yeah, overall I think I love the look of it. Uh, it's a little heavy, but um, I think I would like to play it. Alright, then you learn it. <laughs> <laughs> So we are back in the studio. Um, I've always had a little bit of a love-hate relationship with Strats. My, I, had, I actually got a Strat. It wasn't really my Strat. It was my friend's Strat, but he left it with me. And I had that guitar sitting with me for about five, six years, but I never played it. I didn't like it. It was a Highway 1 Strat, uh, which is now famous due to Cody Wong. But I never played it. Eventually ended up selling it. Then I bought a Dave Murray Strat. Um, which was a humbucker strat, so I thought I'd like that more, but I ended up selling that as well. This is the third strat that I bought, and this has stayed with me since I bought it, which was eight years ago. So clearly I do like this guitar. It's a very unusual strat, both in terms of the model, as well as what has happened to it. So let's just open it up again, though you saw Nidhi opening it up earlier. Here we are. Candy Apple Red has to be one of the nicest colors out there. Um, and, uh, you know, particularly when it's on a 50s uh, Strat body like this one. Um, and the color of the maple tint in this guitar, for me, is oh just the perfect color. Um, I'm sure you can already start noticing certain details like those tuners... Uh, those that hardware that anodized pick guard that little humbucker in the bridge so what is this guitar this guitar started off life as a fender 57 vintage hot rod and what that is is a fender model from the late 2000s a fender usa model which was like a 50s strat but with a few modern appointments 
uh, what were the modern appointments the modern appointments were the fingerboard radius it is not a seven and a quarter it's a nine and a half the little bit half a humbucker uh, the dimazio i'm forgetting what it's called the at the bridge um and i believe slightly larger frets than regular that's what this guitar is otherwise it's just a 50s track which means it has a candy apple red nitrocellulose body um the neck i would say is a bit more of a modern neck it's just, it's like a it's like a c shape neck so i'm not really sure whether i think it's this is the modern aspect of it i'm not really sure i don't think it's the vintage aspect of it so yeah it and it's got the 50s body shape as i was mentioning now what makes this guitar interesting is that i got this guitar new at a big discount and the reason i got it new at a big discount was that this guitar was hanging in a store in singapore and it fell down and it got a few chips now there are so many chips on this guitar that i'm hard pressed to remember which chip or which scratch it was but essentially this guitar which was retailing for about 2200 or 2500 sing then maybe about 2000 us a little bit less i got it for like 1500 sing because of that um fast forward 2 or 3 years later this guitar was hanging in my room not in this room over here here everything has been installed a lot more professionally but it was hanging in my room where i had put up the hanger and this is why i don't do much di work di work and guess what this guitar fell down again and i'm pretty much convinced that this dent and this came again now here's the thing with bolton strats they're remarkably um durable so uh nothing happened to the neck everything was fine but the scratch plate the pick guard did break so originally this guitar came with a white pick guard and it came with um vintage tuners and it came with regular nickel hardware so given that this guitar needed a new scratch plate anyway i just had a thought that if i'm if i'm going to get some work done on it why don't i just go whole hog and i had this vision of a red and gold uh strat right a uh, little bit inspired by david gilmer's uh, original 50s strat strat that he has the white one and by the way this guitar is very much david gilmer like it's like a 50s strat if you think of the guitar that he plays and pulls a very similar color and i'm i'm pretty much convinced that the fender 57 hot rod is inspired by david gilmer's uh strat not the black strat the the pulse strat so i i just had this idea of making a, a like, instead of a white and gold a red and gold strat so i uh, got together with uh, my uh, good friend and guitar fame singapore's famous guitar tech goose from goose works So he recommended a nice gold goto bridge to me. Got this anodized pick guard, gold uh what do you call this? Oh my god. Blanking out. Input jack. And he also recommended to me I wanted to get locking tuners put on it. So he recommended to me to get these wonderful ratio locking tuners which are pretty nice. And yeah, and then this guitar became the red and gold strat. Um and then some um observant person or some person who wasn't thinking said hey this is an iron man guitar because it's red and gold like iron man and i was initially i was like no i don't want my guitar to be named after a marvel comic character but the more i thought about it if you think about tony stark and iron man the guy basically went through a lot of injuries and then he came back all stronger re remade we'll play later don't worry he came back all remade rebuilt and this guitar is a lot like that right it fell down not just once but twice and was remade and there's now this is amazing thing so yeah so that's the story of this guitar um rest of it what's in the this is of course a regular tweed case um i think this came with the guitar if i'm not mistaken this thing. this uh, table which i have not opened in 8 years my god this whole thing is gelled together this strap which i've also not touched in 8 years fender limited warranty this is the original se- serial number i'm guessing um what else do we have here 
it's interesting. So this is a damn time capsule to see what all came with Fender. It's all yellow now. This has been. Thank you for purchasing. Okay. Yes. And what is this yellow piece of thing? Lacquer finishes. I told you this is a nitrocellulose last lacquer. So that makes it very very interesting. And kind of makes all the injuries it has had kind of worth it because it gives it character. All right. Let's get this up on the workbench, not the workbench, sorry, on my music, at my music station and we'll listen to the sounds and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. All right, we are at the music station. Um, let's get some sounds. Like we talked about, this is the Fender USA 57 Hot Rod, uh, 57 Hot Rod, Vintage Hot Rod, I think. Um, it's a remarkable guitar. Um, like I said earlier, I have a love-hate relationship with strats. Um, this is one strat that has um, stuck around and made an impression. Uh, we talked about the specs, so I won't go through them again. But let me talk about why this guitar has stuck with me, a humbucker, non-strat player, for eight years. Uh, the first aspect has to be the color combination. It's a little superficial, but it's true. Uh, candy Apple Red is just amazing. Uh, the fact that it's nitro is even better. And something about that maple neck on Candy Apple Red uh, for any David Gilmer fan, um, it just has that connection. And the Pulse solo holds a special place in my heart as it does in many people's hearts. That's one. Number two, given that this guitar has fallen down twice and come back stronger than ever, um, for me, it has a little bit of a... Uh, it's occupied a place uh, for me because of that, right? Um, it's not a guitar I want to let go because it's kind of been through a bit of stuff. And I have put in time and effort, I mean, not my effort, frankly, the effort of my tech to really do this up so nicely with all the gold. I mean, this is a guitar that plays great and it feels great. So, and it also looks amazing on the wall or with a little bit of light, the gold just shines everywhere. So it's just one of the, it's such a classic looking guitar. This is a guitar that you could put in a 1950s movie or you could put it in a modern Instagram post and it would be just fine. So there's that. Um, and thirdly, I think one does need to have a Strat in the roster. And I think in general, it's nice to have a Maple Strat and a Rosewood Strat. So I do have, um, uh, not a Rosewood, but an Ebony Board Strat, a Purple Strat, which we'll talk about at a different time. So this is my Maple Board Strat that just has to stay there. So yeah, um, pretty amazing guitar. The model itself, the 57 Vintage Hot Rod, is a very very nice model i think it's a good base to hot rod it further um, it's also a good base to just create a very playable strat you may or may not like this uh, bridge humbucker but um, it creates versatility um, you can play metal on this thing if you wanted to 
or if you want you can just swap out these regular pickups uh, for something a little bit more authentic a little bit more strat like um, for me the only down not downside but the only weakness of this guitar a little bit are the pickups because they are a little bit eh, nothing particularly special but the rest of the guitar more than makes up okay let me just run you through some regular tones without all the reverbs and everything that i'm so fond of um and yeah and then just a quick commentary and then some final thoughts <laughs> Just a plain sound, um, strat neck pick up. Position four. Position three. Position four. Sorry, position two. This is where you start getting a little bit of the humbucker. Making sure everything is. And let's get the bridge humbucker. As you can see, it's not that loud, it's very manageable versus the neck. It's spiky but never too bad. Position 2. be better I feel like somehow it's a very um, plain sound it doesn't have that many layers to it it sounds like a scratch but I feel like sometimes when you are playing particularly with a little bit of light gain you would like a little bit more texture uh, to the sound removing the tube screamer I mean, it's it's a perfect sound. I think it'll sound very good in the mix, but uh, for the individual player, I just feel it needs. I think the pickups could be slightly nicer. I could get a little bit, few more harmonics uh, hiding in different places. this guitar always makes me play very physically i don't know why <laughs> just one of those things anyways this is a nice guitar again vintage hot rod fender usa 57 vintage hot rod candy apple red nitro finish all the gold parts uh, modified 
by G Works in Singapore on my behest. Uh, an amazing strat, uh, amazing used strat to get your hands on. Um, it's not a custom shop, but it's almost as nice. Okay, I hope this was fun. Till next time.